I get this question a lot, and that is, what tanks do I have? So I figured, what better way than to make a short video introducing the tanks that Waller Dog drives. Now, mind you, I've had to sell tanks to make room for new tanks. So these may not necessarily be my favorites or the ones that I want to keep. So this is a moving target. So on the Russian server, we have the tier six T21. We look at our upgrades. You see, we are moving towards the T71. The American T82 tank destroyer. We're not moving towards anything. Someone asked for me to make a video on seal clubbing with the T82, so I've kept this in stock. The T40 American tank destroyer. And we have, oh, yes. So the moving target here would be the Wolverine, which I have in North America. The BT-7. This is good for glitches on one of the maps. So I've kept this one around for videos, even though I've already made the video for glitches on that map. Might play with it some more. It's a fun tank too. The Soviet A-20 Tier 4 light tank. Its target is the T-34. The Soviet KV-1 with a moving target of the, I believe it's the T-150. It'll go the same line that I did on one of the other channels, but it's temporary. Soviet tank destroyer SU-85B. We are working towards the SU-85. Ah, the French B1. Now, I like this camouflage, so I'm keeping the tank, at least at this point. Because as you'll see on the next tank, French BDRG1B, tier 5 heavy, has a target of the ARL44. We have 9K to go. So that's what I have in my Soviet line or my Russian line. Let's move on to the next. So I'm actually doing these in order of how much I play in each server from least to most. So this brings us to the Asian account and we'll start off here with the medium tier four Panzer three. Yes, we are working towards the Panzers, the tier five Panzer. Although I do like these Panzers. They are a nice tank to drive, they're fun. All right, next, tier five heavy, VK30.01H. We are working towards, ooh, one of those two. <laughs> You'll see when we get there. Ah, the Japanese Chinu. Yes, yeah, since I'm in Asia, I figured I'd work the Japanese line over here. Uh, and it works towards the Chito. Tier 6. Looks like we're on our way, but that's going to take some time. T25 Premium. Why did I get this? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember if it was, uh, maybe it was on sale or something. I, I don't know. But, yeah, here we have it. The German T25 Tier 5 Premium Tank. Tier 6 Medium. The VK30.01 P. Works towards the heavy Tiger P. And this medium drives like a heavy. Slow, cumbersome. German tank destroyer, tier three, martyr two. Working towards the Hetzer. Well, that's good. <laughs> uh, Hetzer will be fun to play again. And in here again, we've got the BT7, tier three light tank, which will lead us to A20. The Russian T-46 light tank, which will lead us to the T-28, which if I remember right, sucks. Premium BT-7 art, which I've decorated with this lovely camouflage. Obviously it's a premium, so it doesn't lead anywhere, but as a premium, I'm not gonna sell it. Ah, the Valentine 2 tier four premium tank. Um, 
yeah, nice sturdy little tank. Tier 4 tank destroyer, SU-85B, which again over here will lead me to SU-85. And then we've got the Angry Connor, which is a premium tier 5 tank. Fun to drive, reverse everywhere you go. All right, let's head over to North America. Over here, you can see we've gotten further in the American tank destroyer line. We are we have the uh, Tier 6 Jackson, which will lead us to the T25AT. Looks like we're well on our way to getting the Tier 7 gun that goes with it. Light Tier 4 Lukes. As you can see, it's been completely maxed out as far as upgrades. And as you can also see, I've got the Verdun Camouflage. So, this is not going to be sold. This is a keeper. Nice little tank to play with. Panzer III, Tier IV, medium tank. Here again, I've gotten the nice camouflage. This is also a keeper. Tier IV, Panzer IV-D. Medium tank, which leads us to the Panzer IV. Four. Oh, just got this last night. This is a German Tier 9 E50. Woohoo! We have made Tier 9 on our second account. Had some help with Snow Panther doing some grinding on one of the earlier tank lines. Appreciate it. And also from one of his giveaways, I got some gold, which also helped me move up to uh, this tier a little faster. And we are headed to the E50M Tier 10 tank. And as you can see, we have a long way to go. <laughs> okay, also part of that purchase from that gold giveaway is the Louvre. Great credit earner, but you've got to do a lot of sniping. Uh, not good for brawling. Premium BTSV, my flying duck. Uh, a lot of fun. And also helps you earn some credits, but mostly this thing clips at over 60 kilometers an hour. And it's, you yeah, know, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> and finally, we have another BT7 Art Premium. And here again, it's a fun premium tank. And that's what we have for the North American line. Let's head over to the European line. Ah, coffee in the morning. Don't have many tanks, and this is my primary account, and I don't have many tanks. Well, someday I'll be able to buy garage slots and get some of my favorites back over here in Europe. So, right now, it's like we've got uh, necessities. Let's start here. So, I, I went ahead and bought a $100 deal and got the premium account for a year. I bought the IS-6 here, which is fun to drive, good creditor, good tank. I also got, oh, that's one of the reasons. I got the Glacial 112. I had a vacation, so I couldn't grind for credits anymore. And I really liked the skin on this tank. And so... That's what led me to going uh, with the gold purchase. Another good tank. It bounces quite a bit. Um, yeah, lovely. All right, non-premiums. We have a tier 6 M4A3E2, which leads us either to the T20 or T29. I don't remember which line I'm going up. I've got a list of all the tier 10s I'm looking to get. And we have the Panzer 3-4, Tier 5 medium tank. You can see here with the Verdun camouflage. Yep, this is a keeper. I have a lot of fun with it. Sometimes I get killed too quick because I'm having too much fun and not playing seriously like I should. <laughs> Imagine that. All right, medium Tier 6, the BK30.01P. There again, leads up to the Tiger P. Ah, tank destroyers. Tier 8, J Panther 2, leads up to the Yog Tigger, Tier 9. I see here I'm 76,000, I need 160. 
Well, we're on our way to our second tier nine in European account. Oh, our little premium Ted Kart tier two light tank. Fun to play. <laughs> That's all I can say. It's fun to play. Heavy tanks tier seven KV3 leads us to the KV4. We just need to upgrade the guns before we get there. So, and the engines. So when we pick up the tier eight KV4, we're already at a point. Let's take a look real quick. Yeah, see, if I upgrade the engines and the guns before I get there, then I've done most of my work towards getting the tier nine ST1. That's the idea behind that. And finally, the tier nine Conquer. I just got the tier 10 gun and this leads to the tier 10 FV 215B, which will be my first tier 10 tank, unless for some reason I'm grinding super fast on North America, but I don't think so. Most of it uh, depends on what tier tanks I'm playing on a live stream, because that's two hours a day minimum that I'm, I'm playing tanks and uh, I go by what you guys want to play, not what I want to play. So if I want to grind these tanks towards my goals, I tend to do that, you know, 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes in the afternoon, some time before or after the stream. So my, my grinding goes slow unless our goals happen to match at the time. So this should answer the question. What tanks does Waller Dog have in World of Tanks? Blitz. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share the video, and let others know hey, if you got a question, give them the link to this video.